Welcome to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy. My guests today are part of the first family of drag racing, and this father-daughter duo once again have their sights set on championships in their respective classes this year. He's a 16-time NHRA Funny Car Champion driver, and she's a 2017 Top Fuel Champion, John and Brittany Force. Great to see you again, and great to meet you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Um, funny car. For people out there who don't know what funny car is, what is it? Because I would just, you know, imagine it's a car that looks funny. Well, real quick, the funny car evolved from a street car, mm -hmm. moving the rear end forward, the front wheels backwards, roll cages, you know, big engines, uh, went from speeds of 50 miles an hour off the street, you know, to 250. So, or not 250, 240. Got to be politically correct. But <laughs> okay. uh, they call them funny because someone said, gee, that looks funny. And the name stuck, and that's where Funny Car came from. So it's faster. Uh, yeah, oh, than a street car. Oh, yeah. Well, well, I would hope so. Uh, 10,000 horsepower, you know, makes four to five Gs like the space shuttle when it, when it leaves um, on takeoff. Uh, parachutes to slow it down. Uh, runs over uh, 300. I've run 337, 338 with it. Uh, uh, and, and it'll run uh, the thousand foot in less than four seconds. And the dragsters are even faster. Yeah, yeah, so that's what actually caught my eye is, Brittany, your cars, you go faster than your dad. We do. Um, I actually just set the speed record this last weekend uh, in Las Vegas and ran 338 miles per hour. So I have the speed record. And a couple weeks ago, I set this uh, ET record with my team. So um, 3.623 seconds. Thousand foot drag strip. I mean, it's um, it's over before it even begins. Are you guys competitive? I don't ever compete against him, but I know you yeah. don't compete. We butt but heads quite a bit. <laughs> like if I were you, I'd be like, well, I drive faster than you. So, mm -hmm. like when you guys get Here in the car, we you, joke about <laughs> it. Do you run errands together ever? You get in the car together ever to drive on a normal? She street? makes me wait at Starbucks, and I hate it. I sit out there for an hour. Who drives? She has her coffee. He always drives. You drive, and Why? he's one of the slowest drivers ever on the road. Uh, explain that. We're competing that. right explain now, that to young me. lady. We're competing right now. He rides right the brake. He's the worst person to follow. He rides the brake the entire way here on the freeway. That makes zero sense to me. Me, me too. Why do you drive like that? Well, because I'm I drive it right on the edge, and you want to be on that brake if the time comes where you got to stop. <laughs> We're trained from NHRA drag race, and that, that's what we do. But I wanted to jump back to what you asked. The boys, I love it. I'm a boy. Okay. Uh, but the boys don't like her setting these records. The I, NHRA boys. Well, I didn't get to that fuel. question yet, but go, oh, let's go ahead. I'm so excited oh, being right. here. So, so the guys don't like you going fast? I compete against mostly men. I really compete against... There's really only one other female I compete against, so okay. it's male dominated. It always has been, but yeah, we've been beating them up lately. We won in Vegas. Just just came out of Vegas a few days ago. Last night we got back home from Vegas. Uh, won and in Las Vegas, guys. and yep, I uh, yeah I did. I like that. Beat Steve Torrance in the final, and now I'm chasing him for a championship. Oh, I sense a little rivalry with Steve Torrance. A little bit. Yep, we've been uh, we've been in the same position before in 2017. Um, chasing down a championship <clears throat> together. He was one, I was two, and we had Doug Coletta right behind us in third. So it came down to the final race of the season, Pomona, three of us chasing a championship, and we got it done in 2017. And she was driving for Monster Energy at that time, uh -huh. and she really, when it, uh, Torrance, he crashed at Dallas. It was pretty spectacular, end over end, and, and uh, she just got on a roll. <laughs> you just said it was spectacular? Yeah. That he crashed? That's what the fans, they love the oh bullfight. Oh my gosh. They want to see you he was okay up. though, right? Yeah, he's fine. Okay, so Steve, do you guys trash talk? I, I really am I'm picking up on something here. No. Um, I mean, we have our moments. Sometimes when you get out of the car and you're just heated from the run, um, you're just, your adrenaline's pumping. And sometimes things fly out of your mouth. But my dad always taught me to respect the person in the lane next to you. And, um, um, but sometimes you get into it. I mean, if you're up there getting ready to stage your car and the person's burning you down in the lane next to you, yeah, you might be a little upset when you get out on the top end down there. Has he said something to you? Oh, yeah. He's what said, he said quite a bit of things I want to know. Me. I want to know about this so that I can tell him what, what I Steve think. <laughs> We're fine. We're friends. Steve I, and no, I are I friends. Saw, I, I love it. Actually, he, I, no, I, no, no. <laughs> we got it. What, what does he say? He's a great interview, and he's up on that tire. His, Him and his dad, they run that, that Capco team, and, and uh, they're very wealthy individuals, uh, uh, big... Uh, pipeline people down there in Texas, but they're really good people. And he gets wild and he says it. 
the, the way he, he loves, that's what I love about Torrance. Give me an example. He's, well, he'll just tell you, he'll look over to you, well, you won because you're lucky. You know, because lucky is a big part of it. He never says anything that isn't true. Okay. But I love it that he's, well, so many try to be politi politically correct and always never hurt the competition. But that is what sells TV. That's what it's all about, to get the fans in the stands to watch NHRA drag racing. Every ticket's a pit pass. That's the key to the game. And talking trash is part of it. And we're all so busy hugging and loving each other. You know what I mean? That, that all of a sudden the fans are like, well, let's have a fist fight. We, we have every now and then. Have Trust you gotten me. in a fist fight? He has, not me. You no. have. Who's the last person you fought? I've been beat up a lot of times. Cruz Petricon wants to beat me up every week. But these are the only friends I got. You know what I mean? I live on the road. I don't have a home. I got one in Indy, got one in California, Lake Tahoe, but I live in a Dallas airport because we travel on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So does everybody at NHRA. The coffee has kicked in. I'm, I'm, are you ready, girl? Let's go. <laughs> Equal time. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so I think, okay, is it something to do with the fact that it's a father-son thing and you guys are father-daughter? Like, do you guys have a rivalry because of that? Um, no, I just think it started back in 2017 because we were both chasing a championship down. Okay. And again, here we are. But, I mean, he's he's an incredible driver. We've had our ups and downs throughout the seasons. And um, we just beat him last weekend in the final. And he texted me very next morning, Monday morning, hey, good job. Oh. And let's go to Pomona. So oh, I like we're that. Good. No, he's awesome. So you said that the guys don't like it so much that Brittany does well. You've seen that? Well, because they want to win. Uh -huh. It ain't personal against her. He's you taking it back to Courtney. My sister used to race, yeah. and um, when she would beat up on him, beat him in the yeah. final round. Yeah, So that's yeah, where yeah. it's really coming from. The guys don't okay. like it when the girls beat up him. He's referring to his own. Yeah, so you said something that, that your dad, John, you taught her that she should always respect the driver next to her. But I have heard you say that you have to hate the person next to you. And that includes if it's your daughter. Yeah, but let's 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 explain why. Okay. Your job as a father, you put on three hats. One, it's your child. Okay. Two, you're an owner, and three, they're a hired gun to drive, and you've <laughs> you've got to coach them that way. Okay. And and uh, I watched her. She won the championship. She rolled the car, end over end, the beginning of the next season at the same racetrack. Mm -hmm. And I had just spent the night before in the hospital because I crashed and I'd come back out to run and I run right ahead of her. I get out of the car. Next thing I know, she's on fire, end over end. I thought I've killed her. But understand something. When you look at your kid when yeah. she's five years, six years old and she's, I won't hold your hand, I'm sorry. <laughs> and she's sitting there on a tricycle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And she got them little eyes looking at you and and she's just smiling, I'm gonna do this, Dad. And and then you watch her fall over and cry and scrape her knees. You're gonna make me cry now. Hold on a second. <laughs> He's really emotional. Wow. And then you put her in that race car and she's got that helmet on and those goggles and that fire equipment. And you look in there and it's like, it's still the same eyes. The eyes never change uh -huh. as when she was five, as when she's 25. And it's just, unbelievable looking at her face and you go, oh my God, I could hurt her. And that's the hardest part as a boss. You gotta be a tiger, you gotta kill him, you gotta get after him. Meaning you can hurt her because you're the one telling her to get in the car and do this. Because the car can hurt her. Check out our YouTube channel, Fair Game on FS1 to catch all the best highlights of our show. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.